All right, welcome back to the uh, third video of uh, you know, this uh, particular topic that we are discussing, and that is related to uh, GDP and uh, GNP. Now, please do keep in mind that GDP and GNP are measures of national income. And of course, when we are talking about measures of national income, then there is one more measure of national income, which is called NNP. Now, GNP stands for Gross National Product. GDP stands for Gross Domestic Product. We know the difference between them. We have discussed them in a previous video. If you haven't watched that, just watch the video uh, before uh, the video before this one. And then there is um, a third measure, which is called NNP. Now, I want you to understand the concept of the NNP first. Okay. Uh, just uh, very conceptually, NNP stands for net national product, net, okay? When you're talking about net, what are you talking about? Let's say you are using a machine in order to produce output, which you will sell in the market, which will become the national income, which will give you national income, and it will become the uh, product. Please now, don't get confused. When we are talking about product, we're not talking about product in a physical sense, not about mobile phones. We're not talking about cars. We're not talking about uh, agricultural product. No, no, no. Here we are talking about product in terms of the money that it will bring. So the product and the income is more or less the same thing. If you are making a lot of goods and they are not getting you any money, but they are very but that's very nice. That's 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 something that you made. It's your creativity. But it is not a product. Why? Because a product has two functions. Product has two functions to perform. What are those two functions? The product must give income to the producer. It must give satisfaction to the consumer. Which satisfaction is ultimately the utility that the consumer gets. So let's come back to the product. You are making a physical product. You are making, let's say, a car, right? And at the end of the day, you make a car uh, worth, uh, let's say, $50,000, all right? You've made a car. But in order to make the car, you have used a machine. And the making of the car has... Uh, made the machine work and as a result there's been some wear and tear in the machine now let's say the wear and tear in the machine is equal to ten thousand dollars so that ten thousand dollar is actually we can use the word consumption the machine has been consumed there has been wear and tear the machine has gone down the machine will need some maintenance. Its life has gone down by how much? Again, in economics, we do not measure the going down of life by time. We measure it by the money that it has lost, the value that it has lost. So the value of the machine has gone down by 10,000. Now, assuming that this is a nation which is producing just one product, which is the car. So 50,000 is the national income. But 10,000, which has gone down is something that the nation will have to pay for and it will be replaced. So that is something that will have to be minused from the income. Okay. So your GNP, yes, so your GNP was 50,000, but at the end of the day, you lost 10,000 because of the consumption of the machine, you minus that 10,000 from that 50,000 and your NNP becomes 40,000. That is the net national product. What is the 10,000 that you've lost? What are you going to call that? The 10,000 that you've lost will be called depreciation. Okay. What is depreciation? Now, remember, depreciation is two things, uh, especially when we talk about depreciation and accounting. It is two things. Depreciation is fall in value of an asset which you are using to produce a good. It's a fall in value. And this fall in value can take place for two reasons. It can take place either because you are using that particular product and because of that it has undergone wear and tear. 
or simply because the product has become outdated. Okay, look at your mobile phone. It's in perfect working condition when you replace it. Why do you replace it? Not because there's been wear and tear, not because it's it's been broken unless you are really careless uh, with your with your cell phone, but you replace it because it's now it doesn't have the same features. It has become outdated. So depreciation, what is depreciation? Fall in value of the asset. In economics, when we talk about depreciation, we are almost always talking about fall in value because of wear and tear. Okay, uh, so that that is uh, that is your uh, net uh, uh, national product. Uh, we sometimes call it net income at market value. All right. Uh, if someone says, "How do you define depreciation in economic terms?" Okay, again, as I said, that there, there might be a slight difference between depreciation in uh, 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 accounting or in uh, economic terms though the concept is exactly the same all right so uh, please keep one more thing in mind depreciation is an estimate the machine doesn't come to you and say i've lost ten thousand dollars this year no 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 it's an estimate okay sometimes there can be an overestimation sometimes there can be an underestimation so but nonetheless it's always prudent to estimate okay it's the estimate of the amount of capital that has been used up in producing GNP. In order to produce the GNP, the assets that you that have worn out, the assets that have become old, the assets which have lost their value, that is the uh, that that is the depreciation. Please do keep in mind if you are having a nice time going around, having a party with friends, and you, God forbid, break your car. Uh, that is not depreciation. You are not contributing to the national economy in any way. All right. So now let's put these three things side by side and let's look at them very closely. What is GDP? Again, value of the output, value of the products. It's not the number of the products. It's not one, two, three, four, five. No, it's the value of the product. All right. Produced within the borders of the country all right what is gnp gnp we've already said gnp take the same g g uh, dp and add to it the net property income which people have are earning from abroad and then there is the uh, gni the uh, the gross national income all right so um what does that include, the, the gross national income? Gross national income is not the same as the NNI. So please, gross national income has a particular formula. And this formula comes, OK? This is not going to be there this year, but definitely next year it's going to be there. So it's better you learn it right now. It's, it's a formula. So just keep that in mind. What is the formula for uh, gross national income? Value of output by resident producers inside the country plus net receipts from abroad sounds like gnp people in uh, value of the output in the country plus income from abroad plus any taxes not included in the valuation of the output okay uh so so that is that 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 is the formula for gni uh, as i said this year gni is not very important the main thing which is important for you is uh, gdp gnp and nnp but nonetheless because gni is coming up next year it's it's all right uh, don't worry a lot about gni right now i will be discussing gni in a separate uh, video but please make sure that uh, GDP and GNP are very clear in your mind. All right. Thank you very much indeed. And I hope this was useful. And now uh, next in the next video, we are going to look at the various ways in which we can measure the uh, these things, uh, especially how we measure the GDP. All right. Thank you very much indeed.